We can't allow them to come again with their force like the Labour Party did with Peter Obi in 2023, says APC. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for tuning in and listening to this headline that we got to end this morning. As our headline for this morning says, We can't allow them to come again with their force like the Labour Party did with Peter Obi in 2023. Well, the All Progressive Congress APC has outlined its strategy to weaken opposition parties ahead of the 2027 presidential election. A party leader has disclosed, speaking at a forum organized by the news agency of Nigeria, NAN, in Abuja. The APC leader shared the party's intention to secure a smoother path to victory in upcoming election. The plan focuses on preventing opposition parties from gaining significant momentum as they did in the 2023 election. According to, the, to Wenger, the APC leader highlighted that one of the party's major concerns is the possibility of opposition group uniting during the 2023 election. The Labour Party, led by Peter Obi, gained substantial support, posing a significant challenge to the APC's dominance. To prevent a similar scenario from unfolding, the APC is preparing to act early, ensuring that opposition forces do not consolidate or pre- present a unified front in 2027. Intercell conflicts within the APC were also discussed, particularly in River State. The party leader pointed to issue caused by the former minister Rotimi Ameishi, who previously led the party in the state. Okosha criticized Ameishi for centralizing control over the party, which he believes weakened it overall, effectiveness and ability to respond to political challenges in the region. Addressing the APC plan, the party leader stressed that they will not allow opposition parties to strengthen and repeat the success seen by the Labour Party in the previous election. He pointed, he pointed to the importance of ensuring that these parties remain fragmented and unstable to mount a serious challenge in 2027. The APC is keenly aware of the impact Peter will be and the Labour Party had in the 2023 election, and it is determined to prevent a similar outcome by focusing on dividing opposition group and addressing internal party issues. The APC hopes to secure its position as a dominant political force in Nigeria. As the 2027 election approaches, the APC strategy will likely involve both consolidating its own base and disrupting the unity of opposition parties. The party's leadership believes that early and decisive action is necessary to maintain its grip on power and avoid the repeat of the challenges faced during the previous election cycle. In his words, you can't allow them to be strong. We will not close our eyes and watch them become united and come again with their force like the Labour Party did with Peter Obi, its presidential candidate in the 2023 presidential election. And that is all we have for you guys concerning this headline today this morning, which says here that we can't allow them to we can't allow them come again with their force like Labour Party did with Peter Ubi in twenty twenty three election, says the APC. And well of course yes early for me this morning. You can see the APC now saying that this this and this and this and this is is what we need to add is what we need to be we need to be addressed. Before the 2027 election, because they don't want any other party like opposition party to do the same thing that they did in the 2023 election. Just look at the Labour Party now winning the whole of Lagos State. People will think that okay, she mean that Labour Lagos State is APC that will win Lagos. Like t- t- Labour Party won in Abuja, Lagos State, and the whole of South South and South Eastern part of the Nigeria of Nigeria. And that is what the APC is afraid. Uh-huh. That is what the APC is afraid. That if the Labour Party come up again like the way they did in the 2023 election, there's, 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 a, there's a chance that they might lose the election. And besides, and besides look at the this economic situation that Nigeria is in now. Do you think that APC will win the 2020, 2027 election? Yeah. Just look at um, the... Um, the economic problems of Nigeria that right now. Do you think that um, the APC will, will, will win the 2027 election? 
so that is another problem for them because the people they they know that people people has given hope on them. They bought them in in twenty fifteen to make a difference. What did they do? They did nothing. Twenty twenty three. They stole the election. What did what are they still doing? They are still doing nothing. So people don't have hope in them anymore. Yes, yeah, so people don't have hope anymore. Well, Nelson Nelson at the comment section says that uh, obedience will not mobilize by Obi, but at this this loosed young Nigerians fed up with the corrupt leaders. They view Obi as someone capable of effecting the change they yearn for. Yes, and Obi is capable of doing that. And he's capable of doing that. He is capable of doing that. Well, D Big Mark said that God will weaken APC, stumble their candidates, defeat them, and remove them in 2007. Amen. The, the problem that Nigeria is facing right, right now is APC. And if that APC can go, believe me, Nigeria will have good governance. If I is it says that idiot APC people, you won't allow other parties, you, you won't allow other parties. May you may, 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 maybe you have killed them rubbish. The real hope that APC have right now for the 2027 election is to just buy the election do the same way that they're doing it. It's just buy the election. No hope. Say people with Kaida. With for the butas card and still for APC again. I don't think so. And what do you guys think? Oh, drop a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to leave a like on the video. Then tap the subscribe button. Yes, to be great one with the notification bell so that anytime I have a new video, you'll be the first to get notified about it. Once again, thank you for tuning in and have a wonderful day. I love you.